Honorable members, honorable speaker. Article 235, Rule 1 of the House Rules of Procedure states that a bill, petition, motion, or other business before the House or committee during a term of Parliament lapses upon dissolution of that parliamentary term. However, notwithstanding Subtitle 1, this may be reinstated in the next Parliament by a resolution of House in the second sitting of the first session of Parliament. Earlier this month, the Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Olanya, guided that no bill would be carried forward to the 11th Parliament. So whatever has not been handled cannot continue. That's what does the rule. Among the bills affected is the Constitutional Amendment Bill moved by Indora East MP Wilfred Niwagaba and Michael Mawanda's Private Members Bill to amend the Constitution of the Central Bank. It will definitely have a, a charge on us on, in respect to finances. Secondly, time, it will take a lot of time again because we are going through the same process. And it was waiting for the second reading. Second reading meaning a motion was to be taken on the specific bill as to whether it should go for the second reading or not. And it being a constitutional amendment bill, it required two thirds of the members of parliament to be present. But you know, because of the restrictions of COVID and the like, where attendance was limited to not more than 100, it became difficult for the speaker to call it for the second reading. So it was a challenge. Nuagaba proposes that at least bills be tracked at committee level since it involves a lot of resources to initiate a bill in parliament. So for private members' bill, and in my view, we wouldn't now be required again to seek leave, wouldn't be required again to late for the first time, and the publication process, then obtaining the certificate of financial implication, because that's where we normally have our challenges. At the moment, the opposition is contemplating challenging the rule in the constitutional court. There are two schools of thought. There are those who think this decision, and as far as it tends to legitimize the delay of bills by the president in the terms of assenting or not assenting, or in, as far as it tends to do away with the known parliamentary practice should be challenged in the constitutional court. And then there are those who say, okay, let's forget about the past and begin afresh. We shall not relent, we shall not give up. I have already notified the speaker that I am going to retable my bill. From the speaker, he also notified the clerk who gave instructions to the clerk that he should instruct the, his legal department to cooperate with me so that we now reprint my bill for distribution to members so that we can start the process again. However, Mawanda wants Parliament to expedite house business to prevent circumstances where the public misses out on important laws after dissolution of a parliamentary term. It should be incumbent upon the, the leadership of parliament that whichever business they take up, they should be able to complete it. We had enough time within which to complete this business. I think we also cannot blame parliament because we had the challenge of COVID. Ali Mivule, NTV.